Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, December 4th, and you're here at the last DEI working group meeting of the year. Woo -hoo. Yay, we did it. Another, another year of productive conversations. I love it. And maybe even some metrics. We even did that. So that was good. Um, let me share my screen. Right here. Ellie's trying to join us also. Here we go. If you want to just tell us how you're doing today, that's that's the extent of my creative juices telling asking a question. So if you have a better question, throw it in here. Throw it in here. Uh yeah. My brain. I, <laughs> I'm trying, man. I'm trying. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um, so our important re hi, can I help you with something? <laughs> our important reminder, as you all know, but I'll remind you once again, um, no meetings for chaos with the exception of a few from December 9th to January 6th, because it's the end of year break. Woo um, chaos con committee, uh, a few of them, not even the whole thing. Those folks who are working on the schedule and the CFP. Um, our meeting, I think December 20th, to talk about the CFP for ChaosCon, which we'll talk about in a sec. Um, the UNSDG working group is also meeting on December 11th, just because they're new and they want to keep that momentum going. And then Augur group has decided to meet on December 9th and the 23rd. So, yay for them. They are very dedicated. I am not that dedicated to be meeting on the December 23rd. The SDG one was going to... Sorry? Was there a reason the SDG one, the UN one was meeting? I, I don't think I was in the last meeting. Is it just the yeah. going? Yeah, yeah, because they've only met a few times. And then so it was like, okay, we've had three meetings and now we're not going to meet again until January. So okay. I think they just wanted one more to wrap no it up. Problem. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Um, and then as we mentioned, the ChaosCon EU uh, CFP is open until December 17th here. So if you do have an idea for a talk, uh, there's a little quick form we ask you to fill out that is on the website here. So you can submit your abstract. You can also register for the conference if you're planning to be in Brussels in that time or um, think you might. And we also are open to sponsors. So we have a few that are coming. Um, Google has been kind enough to sponsor. We have a... I hear that. Sorry. <laughs> I, yeah, it's either she's like happy to see me. Ellie, how about we how about we just move this over here to the carpet? Can we do that? There we go. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Sorry, everybody. I'm professional. <laughs> so anyway, yes, we. She just moved it right back to the floor. Um, so we have a few sponsors already. So yay, thank you to those folks. If you are a part of a company that wants to sponsor open source events, we could really use the sponsorship support. So um, just let us know. We'll be happy to oh. point you in the right direction. And they're pretty yeah, affordable. So we, should, we should update that. So ING has, is their sponsoring the social event so they're at the can you go back i kind of forget is it gold is that there i yeah, think they I'm would be sure. at gold yeah yeah we're waiting on their logo they're supposed to send us okay. their logos so we're waiting on that okay and um, then um red hat is also providing sponsorship so which yeah is we're just finalizing i think what i'm not sh i don't remember what they're coming in at 20 i think which is also gold is also gold yep. yeah yeah Yes, yes. So yep. the sponsorship packages are pretty reasonable, I think. I mean, some conferences are a lot more expensive. Yeah, um, but I was pretty happy with that because that that will cover all the things really. In for the most part, and then with like, uh, what are we charging for? Like attending, so like ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yep. But still, we get like fifty people who register, so that's another five hundred dollars. Yeah. You know? So I think that right, you're right. I think that does cover the coffee and snacks uh, uh, mm. throughout the day. And um, if we did happen to get another sponsor, maybe we could offer some lunch. Um, but right now, lunch is on the attendees yeah. to. But I think so. that'll pretty much cover everything, which is good. Yeah. Because the social yeah. event wasn't quite what ING provided, like last year. So we have some extra buffer there, and yeah. then with um, Google and Red Hat, I think we're pretty good. Yeah, 
So that's exciting. We usually do have at least 50, between 50 and 70 people, I think mm -hmm. is kind of our sweet spot where we usually get. I always feel that people register and then don't come, which is nice, but. <laughs> yeah, right. thanks for the 10 bucks. It's, but it's not nice that they don't come, but it's nice. I, sometimes I feel like they're just using it as an opportunity to, you know, send it like even $10. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right, right. Yeah, she's in rare form today. I think she's typing inside. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Okay, wait, I'm gonna put her out. I'm so sorry, everyone. Pause the recording. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm so sorry. Pause it. I don't, are we recording it? Oh, we are. You have to pause it. <laughs> Dog issues. <laughs> And okay, I'm back. Here I come. I'm coming. That was quick. Must have a door close by. I just yeah, I just shoved her outside of my office, so she's going to be running rampant. I don't. I'll deal with that after the after the meeting. What destruction she causes? Yeah, she's a very sweet dog, but she's very energetic, and it's so cold. You know, she just hasn't been out so much. Anyway, sorry. Okay, so we're talking about Chaos Con EU. I think we were. We've covered everything, but if anybody does has, have any questions on the CFP, don't hesitate to reach out. There is also a ChaosCon channel. You can pop it in Slack if you know if, um, you don't have any questions right now, but you might later, because people I think will be around on Slack off and on. So just drop it in there. Matt, are you on that uh, CFP committee? Like to uh, review? I don't think so. Okay, yeah, I'm not either. I think we have five people reviewing proposals, so yeah. I think that's good. Okay, uh, moving on. We um, Yesterday was International Day of People with Disabilities, in case you didn't know that. Um, we had a lovely blog post. Winifred, thank you so much um, to your help in writing this, and Victoria also, Tori. Wow. Um, this was a really great blog post that, that you all wrote, um, just talking about the efforts that Chaos Africa has done to partner with other folks in Africa specifically. Also a little shout out to Af Chaos Africa being two years old over the summer. And then, um, yeah, some lovely pictures and it was a great event. So if you have time, you wanna read, read, read that. Um, they're working really hard to bring more folks with disabilities into open source so that it's just more inclusive for everyone. Um, those are the folks who can actually speak to the experience and really help us make make things better. So yeah, feel free to um, give that a read if you haven't already. I will check that out. Yeah, it was very interesting. It was very cool. Um, okay, and then the next thing, I, I meant to mention this at the community meeting yesterday and I didn't get a chance to till the end because I frankly just forgot <laughs> until the very end. Um, but we are recording the 100th Chaos Cast episode on Friday, so if you would like to listen in and see how we record a podcast, um, you are welcome to do so. I think we're going to probably have you on mute, but um, you are more than welcome to join us and listen in live um, as we fumble through a podcast <laughs> recording. <laughs> and there's a link if you want to add it to your calendar. So, yeah. Which one is this? Is this like the like where we've been episode? Yeah, yeah. I think we're talking about where we've been, where we're going. Um, kind of like a, it, if it fell really nicely in the year end as well. So there's probably some some wrap up uh, things also. Who's on? I, I know there's a list. There's agenda somewhere. Okay. I can tell you who's on it. Let me just look really quick. Who could use on that? In I guess I'm me, uh, let's see. Is Georg, it looks like Georg's facilitating it. Georg is facilitating. Uh, I know Harmony also. Okay. I think, uh, why can't I see the list of attendees? Oh, here we go. Uh, Brian Prophet, Divya, Harmony, myself, Georg, um, Remy de Cosmaker is going to be on it, and you. Okay. Oh, so perfect. just kind of a, a broad, yeah. There might be Great. others. I'm not sure, but okay. Great. that was accepted. Yeah, I think I'm dead soon. Yeah, Ruth, you did not accept the invitation. 
Nice. <laughs> but yeah, Ruth will also be on it. <laughs> yeah, let me check. I think who sent the invite? Uh, I think Alice did. Let me check. But I, I think I'm there, right? You are under no response. And she sent it to your Gmail, so yeah. Let me check for it. I was wondering why I didn't have it in my calendar. Thank you. <laughs> that that <Yeah>. works. <laughs> <laughs> so that should be fun. Right, cool. um, be a little party. And that is at, I didn't put the um, time, it's at 8 a.m. U.S. Central. Friday, December 6th. Oops. So, yeah. That's a lot of people. Okay. Yeah, it is a lot. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure how that's going to flow because that is so many people, but um, hey, what else? I'll be there hanging out. Okay, the hundred uh, episodes you have in Chaos Cast. I actually had subscribed to this when I had an Apple phone, and I switched phones over the summer, so I've lost a lot of my podcasts, and I'm re-signing up for them as I get reminded about them, like this one. Uh, <laughs> I'm curious, are there specific standout episodes that you would highly recommend someone pay attention to. Sometimes I tend to be compulsive about podcasts. I start at number one, but when there's a hundred episodes in a Rolodex, I can't listen and consume to a hundred episodes. There's, I'm sure they're very binge worthy, but at the same time, Not are, there worthy. <laughs> are there a top five? That's a great question. I could, I could go back and look at the, um, Most the five. Through yeah the the fire whatever firefly whatever it is that uh, fireside i guess that the uh, platform that does because it shows us how many listens we've had on each one can you look um, right now I, kind of curious i'm kind of curious uh, you know just scanning through the titles the practitioner guides sound particularly interesting those are probably those are dawn yeah yeah and i think it kind of depends on what you're interested in um and I don't know that we have them like actually like tagged with anything. So you could like- How do you yeah, see the know. downloads or the it's listen, let's say? I have to log in Fireside, so. Okay. I can do that if you guys don't pay attention don't to mind. anything. That might you could also just search German Prey for my last name because anything I'm in is amazing. <laughs> Uh, I think it's fireside.fm is the platform, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what my, okay. You, can you guys see that? I, I can see, can't see anything you typed. Okay, why isn't it popping up here? There it is. Hello. <laughs> What's the problem? There it is. Okay. Twenty-one thousand. Let's see oh. if we can see by episode metrics. Looks like you can. At top. Yeah. Uh, top episode downloads. Here we go. What's yeah, this one? Can you just like hover over it? Is that 31? If you Number go to 31. The, yeah, if you go to the right of it does, oh. it, does it give you a different number? It's like the green bar. Yeah. Oh, number, number one. Number five, number 30. Let's see what number 31 was. That seems like a really popular one. Yeah, I think, Rhea, these are also going to be skewed because some have been out there so long that, of course, they're going to have more than someone that we just posted yesterday. Uh, so it is a little skewed, um, but... I'm hoping I'm on 31. You're already on 31? I hope I am. Oh, you hope you are? <laughs> <laughs> just from an, like a boost the morale. <laughs> yeah. 31. 
There you go. Marketing metrics for OSS foundation and projects. There we go. Not me. Mm, interesting. I wonder too if because we had so many special guests, if they helped us promote yeah, that's that through their personal channels, you know. Adiinka has a question. Okay. Um, so I kind of heard you talk about uh, tags, that we do not have tags for the podcast, right? So I'm thinking going forward, can we have something like that, like um, start tagging the, the episodes and then maybe have a search functionality if they don't have one, so that any um, listener can kind of um, search through whatever they are looking for, maybe they are interested in us for, or badging, they can easily search and follow the um, podcast relating or the episodes relating to that particular topic will just show up for them. Yeah, that's a great point. Uh, I don't know if we have that functionality or not. Um, I think we'll have to look into this. Maybe I'll check with Alice Harmony and Georg to see if they know if there's a way that we can tag these episodes with topics because that would be super helpful to Ria's point earlier also of like okay now we have a lot <laughs> so like you can't just like take a day and go through them so um yeah let's just add this to our our notes here oh I'm in the wrong section hold up That's a great point, guys. Thanks. Anybody else have any comments or questions? Anything about podcast? Okie dokie. Uh, thank you also to Sustain OS for sponsoring us this for quite a while. Uh, they provide that platform for us at no cost. So thank you to them very much. They're awesome. Okay, let's go on. I'm pretty sure Matt added this agenda item. I was typing it. I'm like, maybe we can get a second set of eyes on this before I put it in the general channel. Yeah, I yeah, I think that sounds really great. When I was at All Things Open, just as a quick aside, um, I was part of a um, during the community day was part of an unconference on using AI and community management and like how people were using it. It was yeah. a really interesting um, conversation. And I brought this up that we have this problem and um, some people were like, it's totally fine because people can use it however they want. But yeah. at the same time, it's my point is it's not a replacement for engagement. Like we would rather have you here as a person than you mm -hmm. just kind of sending your proxy, you know, sending your your bots um, because it, it is kind of disheartening when you join a meeting and there's six bots and two people like two Thank humans. You. right? Like so. So um, so that is one of the reasons why in case people are wondering. Um, but it was really it was really interesting what did people think of that response um they agreed yeah they were like yeah it's not um it's not uh, uh, definitely not a a replacement for engagement for really? sure and and i think because we do do the have the meeting minutes and the recordings already out there i think not everybody does that as well not you know so um i think that's something that is helpful for our community that we do which yep. is kind of meant to take the place of those ai note takers so. Um, the other, I was, I mean, I've been thinking about it a little bit too. Like if you ran a meeting under Chatham house rule and then somebody was using an AI note taker, mm -hmm. does that, would that be problematic? I think so, because they're asking in order for the note taker to do its job, it's recording the meeting. 
So, yeah. and that's part of the Chatham House rules is that you don't record the meeting. Yeah. So that I think is is in conflict. I think so too. All right, well, I'll, I'll post this just as is. Okay. Anybody else have a comment on that at all? Yeah, like I know like when we do chaos of the meetings, we have a lot of them. And so like some of those people don't even like join the meetings regularly anymore. So it's like, we always have to like actively <laughs> Like I kick out like up to five, six in call. So it's it's almost like a spam. So I don't know if there's like any Zoom setting that kind of like automatically probably takes like an AI like you know, take AI away. There should be an AI for that. Yeah, there's yeah, there should be an AI. I think I asked Chat GPT one time, how can I use Chat GPT to manage the other AI bots. But um, I, I, yeah, that's a great point, Ruth. I did look in our settings that we have access to, because um, we are part of the Linux Foundation's main Zoom. So we don't have access to all of the settings, but um, there was a setting that said, deny people from a certain, a certain uh, t uh, TLD or, or whatever. So like some of these bots do have like fireflies.ai so I tried, I thought, I tried to deny anything that's coming from a .ai domain, but it did not work at all. <laughs> so, so I'm not sure <clears throat> what I did wrong, but uh, I thought that was the setting that we needed. So I guess maybe I should dig in a little deeper to see why, why that didn't work. I'm not really sure, but yeah, I think, uh, I think there's like otter.ai, there's like a few. Yeah, yeah they're all like them. I think the fireflies one is one of the most because like I I'm also trying to understand how they do they give it access to their Zoom like it's, because some of them I don't know if some of them know that AI is joining the meeting on behalf of them we are not there so maybe there's one function for it to on their own end but I, would, I think I'll mentally just take note of the people's AI tool and message them privately as well. Uh. Sorry, <laughs> I'm having a day today. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, where's my video? There it is. Yeah. Um, well, I, just, I, just I totally agree. Message. We'll see if it helps, and if not, we can do DMs. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, we we didn't specifically say we want them to like, in other words, stop your AIs, <laughs> you know, but yeah. So if we need to be more direct, I guess we could be. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I think it's nice. It's a nice gentle bump. Okay. Any other questions, comments, discussion about the AI bots? Okie doke. Thanks for doing that, Matt. Yep. Okay, PH pledge notification. I do get that once a month to just go check. And I I didn't oh. check today, but um, I did, when we do the orientation, we always go look at it. So it's still there, it's still active, it's still doing its thing. So I think that that probably will suffice. So that was a couple of weeks ago. What is this? Oh, okay. I actually put this there because oh, the last sorry. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. sorry, go ahead. Okay, I said I was the one that placed this there. Um because um I remember I was uh, creating a GitHub action for the PHP pledge notification and for it to run in December. So I got the notification. Um, that's why I'm bringing it here to know if you had attended to. Yes, yeah. So I think it automatically opens an issue and then assigns me the issue just to, the, it's really just to like kind of just double check that that's still a thing that's running and we can still feel feel okay about pointing people to it. Because um, we, like there was a while we weren't sure if they were still actively maintaining it, but I think I think they are, it seems like they are. So um, I think we can continue that notification just on a monthly basis, just 
quick check in with them, make sure that, you know, they're still doing the thing. So I should actually go over and probably uh, cancel that, right? Or close that issue. Whoops. Let's see. I think it comes out in here. I think. Maybe. Yeah. So I will just say then. Close the comment. Yay. On a nice sound note, um, Elizabeth, it feels good <laughs> to see how I used to say blank. Ah, uh, did you see that? <laughs> yeah, right? Issues, none, zero, open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, thank you, Azures. Thank you, Adinka. Yeah, we've had some good ones uh, recently coming through. Um, Qcon, .NET Conf, like Berlin Buzzwords. So yeah, I'm really excited to see the that more people are are submitting. Uh -huh. I assume that we're waiting I'm, for our two hundred. What's that? We are waiting for our two hundred application. Yeah, there was a lot. Not all of these, not all of the issues are applications, but. Yeah, there's a lot. Are we close to 200? Let's see. Almost, almost. I'm waiting for you. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> That's exciting. It's a shame that it didn't, like, the, all the planets align so that the 100th chaos cast, the 200th, like, all of it could be together. That's okay. That'd be too much. The world might explode with all that awesomeness at once. So I'm not sure who put this on, but did you put that uh, on that? Yeah, it's just me. So it, it's funny because it was actually like, are we going to, sounds like everything's going great with badging. So that's awesome. Um, and then I know we had talked about that PHP pledge thing mm -hmm. above. <laughs> I'm like including it, taking it out. Um, in the badging process. Are we still inclined to keep it as part of the process? The only reason I ask is because, you know, there was a an effort to include it in the badging process. Um, but now we have to kind of maintain that relationship to make sure that it's just <laughs> like trying to say it politely, but like there was a, a push to include it in badging, which is great which I don't mind, but now it's our responsibility to kind of maintain that relationship. And it is something that's external to badging. It's not really a chaos metric, just kind of all those things. I have thoughts, but I'll let others, <laughs> I'll let <laughs> others jump in because I often just jump in right away. So I'll let others. <laughs> I'm like, did I kill the room? Because I, <laughs> <what> I said. <laughs> Thanks for the vibe kill, man. <laughs> Just trying to ask a question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think my personal opinion is we can we can leave it. It's a very okay. low overhead, and we, all we're doing is just asking people if they have seen it. So okay. it's not a, a big overhead. I don't think. I think it's it's nice to include. Um, yeah, I think it's fine. We're not asking honestly. for. Like proof that they have the badge. We're just asking that they have checked out the site. And it's like yeah. a yes question. Yeah. OK. Yeah. And we do ask them about what the conference is doing. Okay. So like we don't say, you know, are you doing like all of the things that PHP pledge or PH pledge uh, requires? Yeah. But we're just asking, like, what are you doing? And like, where is it on your website? Can you point us to information about kind of like, like asking? A, like child care or something like that like the family yeah. friendly stuff can you just yep. point us to some info okay just tell us yep yeah. okay um so then really the check on whether it's working is just just making sure that like if we're going to point people to something that we're not pointing them to a site that is just gone dormant yep okay literally yeah and if there's any updates 
um, that's another part of that check is to see if they've, you know, uh, changed their process or, you know, okay. anything with that. So if they've kind of, you know, gone off in a different direction, we might want to re revisit, right. okay. um, but it looks pretty stable. You know, okay. it is what it is. Okay, cool. Thank you. Arinyanka, did you have a comment too? That, like, there... Oh, sorry, Matt, go ahead. I just wondered if Arinyanka had a comment as well. Um, yes, I agree with Elizabeth. Let's keep it for now. And then we can revisit later. Okay, no problem. Yeah, since we're not like requesting that they have the badge, there's no like much in like if, for example, we're requesting that, then we have to like always check if they're updates or if they're like, so if we're just pointing them to the site, then that's fine. Perfect. Okay, no problem. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Um, okay, we still have 16 minutes left. Does anybody have anything um, else? To let me just give an update on the um, the issue with um, separating concerns for the badging API. That'd be great. So, yes, you know, um, we had to open uh, a GitLab account so we can have some credentials to work with and um, kind of have separate um, um, concerns for event badging and then for project badging because for event badging we needed some right permission because um, GitHub is going to be writing on um, it's going to be writing on behalf of the user you know, to create an issue and all, but we don't need that for project by. So we've been able to do that, but um, we've not been able to uh, successfully uh, implement that functionality in the budget API. So what we intend to do now is to put that into our to do as we resume next year. Um, are you are you getting me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what what I intend to do is that um, as I run around of the year is to just find a way to create a project plan for the badging website and the badging API and even the event diversity and inclusion um, report because there are some hot dates that we need to actually uh, implement for that too. So we will just run with that quickly with this one again. Excellent. Um, question for you, Adinka. Do you have everything you need as far as access to the GitLab stuff for, for chaos? Okay, yes. So, um, although there was a bit of a constraint because, uh, so Desmond and I were working on this, and uh, I think uh, for GitLab, uh, you can only have about five people um, on, on the state of the account. So um, I was the fifth person after you, so I couldn't register this month. So that means that um, this month cannot do without being around on, on that account. But I, that that shouldn't be a problem since we are usually working together anyway. I'm happy to remove myself so that Desmond can have a slot. I don't need it if, if that would be helpful. Um, okay. Um, let let me get back to you on that if it is really okay. necessary for. Us. Oops. Oops. Get, um, uh, I think they call it t team or group. Yes. Uh... Yeah, just let me know. I'm happy to remove myself. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Adienka, very much for all your work here. This is wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like badging is in a really good spot. So thank you for all your work and everybody's work. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. 100%. 
Thank you. Looking forward to do more next year. Bye. <clears throat> Okay, we're getting to the end. That looks like the end. <laughs> it looks like the end. Oh, I did. I just stopped sharing, but I did have a quick question for those who were at the community meeting yesterday. Um, oh, bye, Ria. She already left. Okay. Um, she left a while ago too. Sorry, <laughs> Ria. Uh, for those who were at the community meeting yesterday, we did a social a social mixer. Um, that Mary Blessing ran. And I just was curious to get feedback from people here if they thought that was fun, if they thought just from like um, a diversity, equity, inclusion standpoint, uh, our point of view, was it um, was it weird or was it fun? Or like, what was your feedback for that? What was your experience like? I wasn't there. Well, I, I was there and I think it was fun. I did get to have conversations with people I had not had conversations with before. Yeah, and I got to know them on a personal, not work basis. So, yeah, I think it was fun. Awesome. For uh, for people who weren't there, um, we did a few breakout rooms, and then we just had a five. It was like a five minute breakout room. You were just kind of put in a room with random folks. It was randomly assigned. And then there was a, a conversation prompt that was given. Um, things like, "What did you achieve this year?" or "What's your the your favorite thing on your desk?" or you know, just kind of icebreaker questions. So um, it was really great. Like I talked to people I've never talked to before. And then I was also in a group with um, Peculiar and Sophia, so, <laughs> but I still learned about them. So it was, it was really interesting, I thought. Wow, oh, it was fun. So maybe, yeah, it was fun, I thought. So maybe we kind of do that periodically, just once in a while. Let, let's like just that. throw everybody in. Yeah, <laughs> and don't tell people when it's going to happen, because people might not come. <laughs> just trick them into it. <laughs> trick them into being special with us. <laughs> no, that's, um, yeah. I just was curious if anybody felt like it was um, like the opposite of inclusive or if they felt kind of strange about now being put in a room with people they didn't know and having to make conversation. I like I like the idea. Sorry, I missed. I think having at least three people in a room is good. Um, I know there were some that ended up being just two people, so I don't know if that's if that's better or worse, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I like, would I imagine. Want... I would imagine that a lot of just having done open source for a long time, like a big part of it is just getting to know people and being comfortable reaching out to them, and yeah, so that's really great. Yeah, kind of building those those working relationships. It's it's hard when it's just you know on Slack and you don't have a any kind of context about who people are, you know, no, no bond there. So yeah, I thought it was really great. I like that. Okay, cool. Yeah, maybe we'll do that again. All right. Well, I think this is the end. So everybody have a great holiday, great end of year. Um, we will see you in January. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye. See you later. Bye. Take care. Bye.